Hello, this picture at Malta is for sale on our website and it's an interesting little item and I'm going to give you the reasons why I think it's interesting. There's a lot about this picture I don't understand and don't know, so I'm really um, revealing my own ignorance. Okay, so we'll start at the beginning. I like this size picture of Jesus because it's very much like an icon in, in size and intensity. And icons are generally really expensive and they've been the same for a couple of thousand years and they're making them now. Uh, the reproductions are really very convincing and um, they're much of a likeness. They, they use a lot of gold background and they have a very, this very Eastern looking Jesus, Madonna, baby Jesus. Uh, but this is a close second in my view. This painting has been relined by someone in Malta called J. Saguna Restoravat, Restoravit. 2009, so it's been relined at some stage and been restretched at some stage, but it's an old picture. I think, I, I would guess the picture is about 1800. Um, <clears throat> could be a bit earlier, could be a lot later, but it, it, certain things about it which I, I'm quite, quite difficult. This hand is very unusual because it is one finger pointing upwards, not two fingers pointing upwards. The idea of the, the hand with the, the finger is it's a Greek Eastern uh, idea where it's a, a way of spelling I C X C, the shapes of the, the shapes of the fingers, which says Jesus. So the finger is saying I am Jesus. It's symbolism, and usually you'll find that hand up here with two fingers out, not one finger. So usually there'll be two fingers. And for example, the Salvador Mundi has the hand up here with two fingers. Most of them on the internet you'll see <clears throat> don't have the hand here. So in my mind, I'm getting confused with Sacre Coeur because it's in the place of, of the, sac the Sacre Coeur, but of course the Sacre Coeur is the heart itself. The Sacre Coeur is after the crucifixion. The hands would have holes in. So it's not, this is not a picture of Jesus in the Passion with the thorns on. It's not a picture of him on the cross or after the cross. It's a picture of him at mass with bread and, well, on this occasion, no wine. That's the other thing I can't understand. There's no chalice, there's no cup, there's no beaker. I have not seen anywhere a um, picture of Jesus offering wine in a, a little dish. So in the Last Supper, there is a little dish like this on the table. And I think in Matthew it says, Jesus is dipping his bread. And the idea is he's dipping his bread in garum, which is a fish sauce that they, the Romans used um, very widely as a staple food, a sauce, and um, made of fermented fish. And the Greeks, I think, had it before the Romans did as well. So I think you've got a bread, a bread roll, a bread loaf. You have the, the dipping sauce, but you have no red wine. You have no chalice, you have no cup. For the for the wine, so I'm very confused about that. the The picture has a very sh very shouldery Jesus, and the hands are painted probably by different people. I would say that is a very naive, childlike, childlike looking hand. The uh, that hand is better painted. Uh, there is gold on the on the on the clothing, which is unusual. There is the blue cloak, but the thing about this picture is this moustache. And mouth and beard is really really well painted and uh, I can't believe for one minute that that was painted by the same person who painted those it's just not possible in my view the eyes are good the, sh the brows are good the uh, flesh is good but the, the thing that really is outstanding is this hair it's got curls of hair and it's painted in these co it co coils and curls and uh, it's sort of f falling away. It's not like a Victorian Jesus where it's all painted in one colour. It's painted like many of the Jesus paintings were painted in the 1500s, maybe some, some of the 1400s as well. So I, I think it's someone's latched onto this look and they've copied it and they've made an interesting job. 
and um, they've missed they missed out the red wine. They've got their fingers wrong. There should be two fingers sticking up, not one. Um, that's what I, that's all I know. So I think it's a very interesting thing. The the symbolism with the ICXs is, 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 is thought is Greek Eastern uh, Christian, but by implication Russian. But that symbolism went to Italy as well. Uh, obviously, you know, Leonardo painted the Salvador Monday with two fingers up. So, so it didn't it didn't stay with the just stay with the Eastern Church. So there's a lot going on. I'm not a scholar or an academic, but but uh, I, I think that these these pictures are really really very interesting things. And I think that I would assume it's about 1800, and I would assume it's painted provincially, could very possibly be Maltese, more likely to be Italian or Sicilian. Nevertheless, very charming little thing. Thank you.